Hello and welcome to the Nobel Leaders Cup. The, I am shot like this is the first qualifying round. We have the game between Leonidas the first and Chibinda. Leonidas the first is organized and protective, and the Greek start with fishing and hunting. Chibinda is expansive and financial, and Luba starts with mysticism and hunting. These are the starting positions. Let's get resource pebbles on. Leonidas the first starts next to a river. There are some cows, some horses, and there is some rice. And up here for later is aluminum. Then we see starts all the way on the western coast of the starting continent, all the way on the eastern uh, coast, uh, which is in the west actually, is the starting position of Chibinda. Next to two resources of marble, there is iron here, some pigs, there is cows, and there is some fish up here. So this uh, cross continent crosses the uh, Dateland then, uh, which means that uh, Chibinda, all the way on the eastern part of the continent, is all the way in the west. Let's see if this has any impact on the game then. Let's start it up and see who can get through. Leonidas the first versus Chibinda in the first qualifying round of the Nobel English Cup. One city each and Leonidas is already um, getting anger on him from Chibinda. Chibinda is angry, annoyed at Leonidas. Two cities each at the moment and they have met each, met each other. Chibinda with a lot less land around his starting position, so he is dependent on getting west as quickly as possible. And we see that he is settling cities towards the west. Chibinda has four cities now, Leonidas also on four cities though, and he is coming east as well. If Leonidas up to five cities, Chibinda is, well, now it's six to five, favoring Leonidas the first. They are approximately equal in strength, equal in score. Seven cities, eight cities to six now favoring Leonidas. Leonidas has a few more. Now he's trying to block off Chibinda from getting onto the big part of the starting continent by building cities close to the choke point there. Nine cities to seven. Let's see if he's successful. Ten cities to seven. Chibinda could go past him though, but Leonidas tries to block him off by going up north there. Twelve cities to seven. 12 cities to 8 at the moment, and Chibinda is going down to the continent connecting to the Antarctic as well, next to his starting position. But 13 cities, Leonidas the first. 9 cities, Chibinda, 10 cities, Chibinda now then. And 15 to 10, Leonidas has the advantage here with more number of cities, although he's slightly weaker than Chibinda, but that he can fix. He has gone to the continent in the west northwest of the starting position because he had access there now. 16 cities to 11. We see Leonidas with the advantage in city count. They are equal in uh, strength, but Leonidas has higher score as we can see. 17 cities to 11 is the count now. Chibinda is going astronomy. Leonidas is doing the music and stuff and other stuff. Going astronomy as well, Leonidas. Chibinda now on the printing press. 18 to 11, that is a clear advantage to Leonidas. And from this position, it looks to me like Leonidas is on his way to a victory, but it is not certain yet. We see Chibinda did uh, found a city up north of Leonidas on the starting continent, trying to get by past him, find some city spots where he can settle to increase his chances. 20 cities to 13 now though. And we see Leonidas going for liberalism. Chibinda is on physics. 21 cities to 13. Leonidas 1.2 times the strength of Chibinda as well. And we see 23 to 14 is the city count. Chibinda getting gunpowder going for what next? Military tradition. Economics for Leonidas. 24 cities to 15. That is a 9. 10 cities difference, and now Chibinda goes for rifling as well. 25 cities to 16, 25 to 17. We see Chibinda is building his cities down on the continent, connecting to the Antarctic in the west there as well. A lot of cities there. 27 to 18 is the city count at the moment, with Leonidas going for uh, replaceable parts. Chibinda onto railroads, Leonidas onto democracy. 28 cities to 18. It is a favorite uh, favorite here in Leonidas the first of Greece, because with 10 cities more than Chibinda, 28 to 18 in city count, that is an advantage that I think he should be able to take advantage of. 
They will need us down to point 0.9. The strength of Chibin Dada. Chibin Dada is going artillery here and going rocketry next. Looks to me like Chibinta is trying to build up some military advantages here. 31 to 20 is the city count at the moment. So it does have 20 cities, which is a big enough base to start building military units from. But uh, we will have to see if he wants to use them to attack or not. 31 cities Leonidas, 20 cities Chibinda, Chibinda going in industrialism, Leonidas is on steam power, Leonidas has higher score but Leonidas is actually slightly weaker than Chibinda still and that is a concern of course for Leonidas the first but he is getting his technologies up, going for combustion next as well, Chibinda is going for plastics. The question is, is this going to be a game that ends with a military solution or will we see somebody try to go for space or culture? 32 cities to 20. For Chibinda it would be an advantage, advantage if it could stay peaceful and if he could then go on to win a cultural victory. We don't see if he has a slider but we see he is teching fast. Which means he is not using his cultural slider at the very least. And uh, now we see uh, but Leonidas. Yeah, now he's equal on strength. Going for assembly line next. Chibinda is on radio. 33 cities Leonidas. 20 cities Chibinda. Leonidas going for electricity next though. 33 cities to 20. And Chibinda is angry with Leonidas. But he doesn't. Well, he is almost equal in strength. Going uh, fishing next. Leonidas is getting industrialism though. 33 cities to 20 and we see plastics for Leonidas and flight for Chibinda. So they are getting their technologies up. They haven't been in war for, <laughs> well, some time here now. Uh, 33 to 20. But now we see Leonidas is building up his military units. 1.2 times the strength of Chibinda is Leonidas the first going to go to war here. Maybe. And he's getting his rocketry up, Chibinda is on ecology. And Leonidas, what are you doing? Radio next. And 1.2 times the strength of Chibinda. Chibinda is on laser stout. 33 to 20 is the city count. Leonidas is on flight. Turn 395 is here now. 33 to 20 in the city count. Leonidas getting flight. And Chibinda going superconductors. Maybe Chibinda just is trying to reach space here from 20 cities to 33. Leonidas is getting towards medicine while Chibinda is getting genetics next as well. And Chibinda, well Leonidas what are you doing? Well uh, some um, adopting of environmentalism I see. Going for fishing. Going fishing getting that one. 33 cities to 20. Jibinda is going computers while Leonidas is on mass media. Turn 407, 408 is here. And computers for Jibinda then. On to robotics next. Satellites. Jibinda has completed the Apollo program. Jibinda has now completed the Apollo program, which means that he can start building spaceship parts. And he's going for the robotics. Leonidas is going for lasers. I haven't seen if Leonidas has completed the Apollo program. There it is, Leonidas completes the Apollo program as well. And now it is a question who is going to be faster. Or if we are going to see a declaration of war here, it could be both, it could be either. Refrigeration and two superconductors for Leonidas, fiber optics for Chibinda, 33 to 20 cities, which means that Leonidas does have more cities to choose from when it comes to building the spaceship parts, which could be an advantage. Turn 420 is here. 33 cities to 20. Genetics in 3 for Leonidas. Fusion for Chibinda in 3 as well. Leonidas slightly stronger. But it doesn't look to me like there is a military buildup of any kind. So this could be a really... Well, it could be a space race victory. Chibinda completes a thruster. And there is mining ink that has been uh, incorporated here. Both of them on composites now. 33 cities to 20. Chibinda has completed at least one spaceship part. Let's see what happens. Chibinda completed the life support as well. And both of them on composites. Leonidas 1.2 times their strength. 
Let's see if there are more spaceship parts. Let's see if Leonidas can build the spaceship parts. Turn 429 right now. Leonidas is going for the computers. Getting that and Chibinda is on advanced fight is it? And Chibinda completes another spaceship thrusters. It looks to me like Chibinda is in the driver's seat when it comes to the spaceship. But there is a thruster in Ephesus that it was destroyed by enemy infiltrator which means that Chiminda is using his spies to destroy the Greek spaceship parts as well. And it looks like an, a successful espionage mission that means Leonidas has successfully done something. Maybe he's uh, taking out the, the Luba spaceship parts as well. It could be Leonidas completes a spaceship thruster though. And now Chibinda is going for the stealth while Leonidas getting ecology in one turn. Turn 437, this is a space race and Chibinda completes two thrusters as we can see there. Turn 438 and Chibinda completes another spaceship thruster. Now let's see if who can actually launch the spaceship first. Chibinda completes a thruster, we see that one. Chibinda now. Well, what is he doing? He completes a thruster. Chibinda adopts state property and Leonidas has completed the spaceship casing. So this is a space race, a real and true space race. Turn 441 now. And there is a successful espionage mission. A standard ethanol has been incorporated. But a successful espionage mission means that Leonidas the first has successfully done something. Unfortunately, it doesn't say on the screen what it is he tried to do. I suspect maybe he's sabotaging Chibinda spaceship parts. Just as Chibinda is trying to sabotage Leonidas the first spaceship parts. So we'll have to see who is most successful with that fusion in two turns for Leonidas. Chibinda is already on future tech as we can see. Leonidas completes the spaceship casing though. I haven't seen any Chibinda casings but uh, I might just have forgotten. Turn 447, let's see where he can build it. More spaceship parts must be coming along soon, let's see. Uh, okay, they can no longer work on something. That was a spaceship parts, I wonder why they do that. Leonidas with 30 cities, Chibinda with 20 cities, it's a space race and both of them are on future tech. Both of them are trying to sabotage each other's spaceship parts and Chibinda completes the spaceship casing. I don't know if anyone has launched. So let's see, uh, spaceship casing, I think nobody has launched yet. Turn 454, they are still building the parts. I am uh, really excited to see if Chibinda or Leonidas the first can launch first here. Of course, we won't get, an, uh, we won't see it on the screen if Chibinda is the first to launch, simply because it is Leonidas the first that is the home uh, home leader in this game. So if Leonidas the first launches the spaceship, Chibinda completes the casing. If Leonidas the first uh, gets the spaceship. That means that we will see number of turns to victory on the screen. But if Chibinda launches, we will not see turns to defeat, simply because uh, we are not focusing on Chibinda in this game. He's the away leader for turn 461. So we have to pay attention to the messages on the screen to catch if anyone launches the spaceship, and in particular Chibinda. Hasn't seen any more spaceship parts being constructed as of late. Let's see if we can... And it's a successful espionage mission that could be another spaceship part of Chibinda that has been sabotaged by Leonidas. Or it could be something else, we simply don't know. But it looks to me like maybe Leonidas then could be on his way to winning this spaceship. And there is a launch! Chibinda has completed, but Leonidas has launched. Leonidas completes the spaceship engine and it's 10 turns to victory. It says it on the screen and Chibinda completes the engine, but it is too late. It is Leonidas the first that is going to win the space race victory because Chibinda has not launched. Unless Chibinda can attack and take out the capital of Greece, but he is not going to be able to do that. And we have two successful espionage missions, which means that Leonidas may have sabotaged two more spaceship parts. It doesn't need to. There are Six turns left to Leonidas, the first space race victory and Chibinda completes a casing and a cockpit and Chibinda hasn't launched, which means that this is a Leonidas, the first space race victory. Turn 475 now with three turns left, Chibinda completes a life support, it doesn't really matter at all. 
Two turns to victory, one turn to victory, Leonidas the first has won a space race victory and here is the confirmation, turn 478, 2058 AD, Leonidas the first has won a space race victory. This was a peaceful game ending with Leonidas the first winning the space race victory 2058 turn 478. I am not going to count the number of spaceship parts that they built, but uh, you can probably just pause the video and take a look at the world history replay yourself if you want to count if they built more than what they need, which means that there were sabotage happening by their opponents and they sabotaging the spaceship parts. Let's go exit and take a look at the demographics and the graphs and stuff. Leonidas the first is in the blue. This is the score and this is the G and the P. Manufacturing, food, Power, culture, and the espionage. Demographics numbers done with Leonidas the first. Here on the left with four digits, both for production and the food, which is really good. 93.5 million population as well. Chibinda's numbers here to the right, they are not bad either. They are just not as good as Leonidas the first's numbers. Top six cities and wonder stand. Let's go to the bottom and see that there were one, two, three, four wonders in the BC era. And let's go back to the top. And we see that Chibinda has the number one city in Kinshasa, also the number two city, Athens of Leonidas I is number three. Chibinda has the fourth and fifth, and then Leonidas I has the sixth city on the top six cities list. Statistics, Leonidas I built 33 cities, 3 religions, 1 golden age, currently on 73 windmills, 50,046 lumber mills he did build in his cities. 
33 barracks and granaries, 31 fortress factories and courthouses, and you see the list, laboratory, 19 of those, page down. One Mount Rushmore at the bottom there, page down again, and we see the Wall Street as the last building built by Leonidas the first. His current units are 113 mechanized infantry, 33 workers, 30 jet fighters, down to one great merchant. He did train a total of 54 longbowmen, 40 workers, 39 spies, 7 confusion missionaries, page down. We see one war elephant, let's go page down again, and one transport, completing the list of units trained by Leonidas the first. The kills, three privateers, and the losses, eight caravels and one galleon. Let's go take a look at the numbers of Chibintadan. 21 cities built for legions, 3 golden ages, currently of 42 windmills, 27 towns, 25 lumber mills he did build in his cities. 20 factories, barracks and granaries, and you see the list goes down to 6 supermarkets. Let's go page down. There is an Oxford University at the bottom of that page. Let's go page down again and see the statue of Zeus as the last building built by Chibinda. The current units then. 67 mechanized infantry, 26 workers, 16 bombers, down to one great engineer. He did drain a total of 33 workers, 22 longbowmen, settlers and creative construction executives. 5 fighters, let's go page down and see there is one transport at the bottom of that. Let's go page down again and see one swordsman completing the list of units trained. Let's confirm the kills with 8 caravels and 1 galleon, and the losses, 3 privateers. Congratulations to Leonidas the first. Let's go take a look at the victory condition screen. Here we see the numbers. We see that Leonidas had 64.95% of the land area, which was 10 percentage points, approximately too little to win domination. Also, he uh, sent the spaceship up with one engine missing, but he did win it anyway. And we see here there are a lot of zeros for Shibinda. If you compare these numbers with the parts that he actually has at the moment with what he did build from the World History Replay, you can see how efficient the spies were at destroying spaceship parts. Let's go take a look at the cities. Exit here and we see Leonidas has 33 of them, so let's go take a look, sort by population, yes we are at the top building a lot of units. We see 22 Pops, Syracuse and uh, Tyrians, Sparta with 21, Farsalos 21, they are happy and healthy with one exception of Helis. Good food, decent, well good in a few places as well when it comes to base commerce and the production is good I might say. There is power in most of the cities, it looks good. Naxos, uh, pop 13 is the last city on page 1, let's go to the bottom. Naxos and Megara is the first city on page 2, and you can pause the video if you want to take a look at those numbers. I'm going to take a look at Chibinda's cities as well. So let's switch over to Chibinda, he has 21 of them. Let's go here and sort by population and see that Buyi Mayi and Kananka are pop 23 on top. Chi, uh, Chikap, um, Chikapa, uh, pop 22. Happy, healthy, good food. Uh, yeah, I'd say good base commerce, also good production. Building some cases, stasis chambers, engine, another engine, Hollywood as well. So these are the numbers we see for Chibinda's cities. Congratulations though to Leonidas I for winning the space race in 2058, turn 478. Tomorrow there will be another game from the first qualifying round of the cup after the league games. And that game is Leopold II versus Changamayer. I hope to see you back then. I am Shutlike. This has been the Noble Leaders Cup. Goodbye for today.